excited about this uh, AZ Weirdness and this uh, 5K run. I'm so excited to be a part of it. Excellent. You have a big, big, big time fight coming up Friday night with Randall Bailey. What are you doing to prepare for to fight a guy with such power? I'm training hard, sparring hard, and and working out hard. Um, it just takes it takes smarts to beat a person, and I have great smarts, and that's what I plan to use on Randall Bailey's smarts. In fact, I know I'm, I know I'm giving Randall Bailey the beats, the Bing Bang Bing, and I wanna just um, you know I'm focused. I'm a, I'm a focused, strong force, and that's what I wanna do. What do you think is the biggest sacrifice? Dieting. I think dieting is a big sacrifice for a lot of boxers. Um, dieting is definitely, a, you know, dieting and working out is, is a lifestyle. When you're, in a, when you're in a sport that you have to lose weight or maintain weight, dieting and working out is a lifestyle. You've created quite a buzz for yourself online with Facebook and really got in touch with your fans, which I think is a wonderful thing. Um, what prompted you to do that? I think what prompted me to do that is just basically me being, me, me being a socialite, a uh, socializer, um, I, I love teaching, so I think that's something that um, I have patience for. And my leadership, my leadership, learn, learning, how, knowing how to break down different scenarios of life, and I've been through a lot of them. So I know how to, you know, every every human being almost has the same emotion. You know, we all get jealous, we all hate, we all happy, we all cry. So my thing is, once you learn yourself, then you can learn, you can teach others the same concept. For Mike Boyle's uh, strength conditioning program in Winchester, Massachusetts. We come down, I have come down to um, Miami, and um, you know, nothing's, no, nothing, nothing's different. I mean, you have to figure it out while you're in the ring. You can only figure it out while you're in the ring. You can only take as you want. At the end of the day, is how you figure out your opponent while the, while the fight is going on. Well, it just happens to be my mom had been diagnosed with uh, with AIDS. Not not too many people know about that. So I kept that been on the wrap for a while. But um, yeah, well, it's time to let people know that my mom was diagnosed with AIDS. And, um, she had it for a very, very long time. But she found out the doctor visits maybe about two years ago. She told me when she found out that she's had been diagnosed with AIDS for almost 10 years ago. Well, been, been 12 years ago. Man, I was crying, man. I mean, I was, I was like, what? I remember I was in the driver's seat in the car. My mom had, you know, my mom told me everything from being a bad girl to the good girl, you know. And she always kept, a, she always kept an open relationship with me. And man, I was crying. I didn't know what to do. I, I mean, I, I thought she would die the next day. I mean, it was, it was rough. It was, it was definitely a tough ballgame to hear that. And she didn't want to tell nobody. She was kind of hurting herself. And that day was rough. Yeah, she you know she takes her medicine. She she's a act. She's a happy-go-lucky woman. She's always been. Her name is uh, Illuminada Acevedo, which means to illuminate in English. And she always says that. Uh, she always spells her name with I, like illumination. And uh, she's a happy-go-lucky uh, lady, like I am. And I got my personality from her. And um, she's happy. You know, she's happy, and she knows she has it. But like she always said, you know. You can't stop doing what you do in your life. I can't do that for you. I mean, no matter what happens to me or to your family members, I don't pay your bills. I can never pay your bills. Um, yes, you can, you know, be hurt and saddened that I, you know, if something does happen to me, I'm gone. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you. Gotta, I guess you gotta stop your whole life for going to um, post uh, post-traumatic syndrome and, and 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 just give up on everything and become a bum or you know you just can't. You know, I'm looking from you but and, and from above. And you think I want you hurting? If I'm in heaven, I want you. I want you hurting that for that long and depressed. No, continue forward. Continue forward. I'm a, your mommy's always been a fighter. She says, you know, I'm always been a fighter. I always duke it out, and, I'm a, and I will fight this, and, and I will win. And that's how you're raised. Be a fighter. My you know, mom's nickname is Cookie. Uh, she's raised in the barrio in Spanish Harlem. And uh, there's another Cookie who's a karate, karate, I guess, expert or a fighter. You know. And they always duke it out. They always see who's better. Mom being a boxer, you know, she's not boxing like little technique wise, but she stole the hands. As I grew up being in the hood, I seen her fight other mothers, you know, for respect for other cases. But yeah, she so wants to fight. She's fighting the hood. I see it down and, and, and stuff like that. She, uh, you know, they always have a gathering in the Bronx, you know, Boogie Down Bronx, where we don't dance with Boogie. And uh, she's uh, excited about her son, you know. I've always been a happy-go-lucky kid and never disrespected my mother, never 
I had time for that. I had time to make my family proud, happy, and I was motivated. Teach and motivate others. That's basically my two things in life: to teach and motivate others about life, about learning, learning yourself to learn why other people do things, whether it's inappropriate or appropriate. And that's what I do. I just kind of teach, and motivate, and just be happy to love. Yeah, you know, I want to give my mom's uh, definitely props for um, pushing me in a sense of learning life. You know, she told me about life in the sense of, you know, I can't do for you, my son. You're 18 years old. You gotta do something. You know, I, I gave you a couple of roots here and there, and some of them you had to learn on your own without me. And now you're on your own at age 18, and, and I'm glad you did because I learned a lot in life. Man. I learned a lot from my mom's, her, her guidance. I learned a lot from her non-guidance. And uh, it pushed me, it pushed me to another level where I'm at now, and I say the same with you guys. Whether you're guided or not, you know right from wrong, you gotta get it done. Like my shirt says here, just do it. You know, can't stop, won't stop. Team Gato, baby, now to the fans of Team Gato worldwide. Thank you so much for your support. You guys truly, truly mean a lot to me. Um, for those who really know me personally know I mean that from the dearest heart. Um, I don't have many friends. I have a lot of associates. Um, reason being, I don't hang out with nobody. I just kind of talk and giggle. I take it like that at the moment, you know. And um, a couple of friends here and there. Those are my friends that you know are very close to me. I hang out, talk to a lot. But for the team got the worldwide. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for participating in the sweepstakes. Thank you for asking for advice, motivation, and. Ask me to critique your videos or whatever have you. Man. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of being part of this movement. Like I said, it's not a saying, it's a movement. And you guys already know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the interview. And uh, there's more to come. Definitely.